Hello everybody, let's do a quick video today on a popular nutrition topic. Dirty, dirty bulking. First, for those of you new to the concept, bulking in general is a weight and muscle gaining strategy where you consume food measured in calories above the number of calories you burn throughout the day. This is known as a calorie surplus, the surplus being needed to provide added nutrients to the body for the sake of hopefully adding more muscle mass. Normally, you'll have a set surplus goal, like eating 500 calories above your calorie maintenance. This will then require measuring your food and tracking your calories. Now, with dirty bulking, the concept is fundamentally the same. Maintain a calorie surplus, but with a very distinct difference. Instead of tracking your food and calories, you instead track, well, nothing at all. Your goal is just to eat and eat and eat. No guidelines to the amount of food and sometimes even the type of food you eat. You just gotta eat as much as you can. Close my fitness pal, put the food scale away, and eat. Now, before you actually think this is a good idea, please finish the video first. It might be enticing to be free of food restrictions and counting calories, and honestly, that is the advantage of dirty bulking. No explicit restrictions. However, what makes it an advantage is also its disadvantage. As in, with dirty bulking, you essentially have no idea how much you're actually eating. It can be a hundred calories above maintenance, or even a thousand or more. And if it's too high of a surplus, then we might have a problem. The thing is, there seems to be an upper physiological limit to the amount and rate that muscle can be built. Providing more food above this muscle building limit doesn't result in more muscle, rather it will result in storing the extra food as fat. To showcase this point, we can check out a 2012 study by Garth et al. that looked into different calorie intakes and its impact on body composition. In their findings, a group of elite athletes eating a 600 calorie surplus increased their fat mass by 15% in 10 weeks. Another group eating closer to maintenance gained only about 2%. But the juicy finding is in terms of lean body mass, which muscle falls under. In this case, both groups did increase lean body mass, but there was no statistically significant difference between them. Gotta point out though that these subjects were elite athletes, a group that's already pretty lean and muscular, so they're more susceptible to putting on fat and having a more difficult time putting on muscle. But the main takeaway from this study is that it does seemingly validate the existence of a muscle building limit, and exceeding that limit will result in fat gain. Thus, if you were to ask me if dirty bulking is worth it, then in pretty much all scenarios, my answer is 100% no. There's simply too little accountability to it, even for those skinny hard gainers wanting to put on mass. When you try to dirty bulk and not track anything, you might actually end up unintentionally eating below maintenance, which is the worst case scenario. Tracking your food would then be critical. The exception is, if only by chance you're absolutely unlucky with tracking your food and calculating your surplus needs, then maybe unfiltered bulking might work for you, but it still won't be ideal. Again, you wouldn't know exactly how much you're eating. Not eat enough, you won't gain much. Eat too much, you'll gain more fat. And we haven't even talked about protein intake and your training program. So once more to close, dirty bulking, although it might sound like a good time, it won't be a good time for your goals. Skip it and do it the right way with something like lean bulking. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a bulky thumbs up and share it with your dirty loving friends. That sounded weird. Subscribe for more fitness videos. As always, thank you for watching and get your protein. Dirty, dirty protein.